Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the VIFN for directive, and also we have seen how to loop over the objects and the list using the VIFN for directive. We have seen right now. In this video, what we will try to do is we will try to go a little bit deeper into the VIFN for directive. Okay, so now let's try to comment out these two things. Okay. Now I have commented out these two things. Now we will see little bit deeper into the VFN for directive. Okay? Now before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Now coming to this video. Now here, what is the data we are having? So here, if I refresh this one, and here I am having something like reading, writing, playing. Okay, these are the things I what I am having. Let's try to delete this one. So when we successfully adding the add, adding the hobby after adding the hobby, let's try to empty this text box. What we can do? Let's go to the app.js and upon successfully uh, adding this one, so I can I can write this dot enter hobby value equal to empty. Okay, so first step is completed. Now what I will try to do? I will try to write reading writing and also another one what I can add playing. So these are the three things what I have added. Now my requirement is what I need to do is whenever I click on this one of the one of the uh, hobby, I need to delete that hobby. I need to remove that hobby from the hobbies list. How we can achieve that? So we can achieve that one using uh, adding a click event here for this li element. So if I add an li, LI event click dot Prevent is equal to I can write remove hobby. Okay, I can write the remove hobby like this. So I can write remove hobby, and I will be sending the index. So which which is which item I need to remove? I need to remove in the array. I will be sending it as an index. Now here in the methods I can write something like remove hobby of index. Okay, so we can remove the hobby. From the hobby array, so deleting a one item from an array, we can we can delete it using the splice method. So this dot hobbies dot splice. The so splice what it will take here? The splice will take first one is the index. Index means so what is the item? So index the place the the place of the item where where I need to remove. So index comma the count of the item. So from there onwards, starting from there onwards, how many items I need to remove? So one item I need to remove. So this is the splice. So it will change the hobby array. So by deleting from the index to the one item, it will it will change the hobby array. If the slice means it will change, it will not change the hobby array. Hobby array will be written like that only. But it will change. But it will remove. It will extract the element and it will give it to you. Okay. So that is the difference between the splice and the splice means it will entirely change the hobby array. But the slice will not change the hobby array. Okay. Now what I can do here? So we have written the click dot prevent right now. If I can go here. If I try to refresh this one, so reading, writing, playing, or something like this. These are my hobbies. If I click here, automatically these are getting removed. Okay, and now when, uh, when no hobbies are present, we are able to show the no hobbies present with the conditional rendering. Okay, so this one is fine. Now what I will try to do is here, I will try to add a due for this one. I will try to add a div for this one, okay? And in uh, and under that one, I will try to add input type is equal to text, okay? So I have added input type is equal. Let's try to check the output. So if I try to check the output here, so reading, playing, so writing or something like that, okay? So these are the three hobbies what I have added. Now, if I try to enter anything in the reading text box, so okay, if I want to, uh, I want to enter something in the reading text box. If I click on this, uh, enter, uh, if I want, if I move the cursor, if I place the cursor in the text box, see, it is getting removed. See, see, I want to enter something, so it is getting removed. Why? Because we have written the click click event for the li element. So input input box is nothing but it is present in the li element only. If it, if you see. It's, uh, Correctly, so in the LI element only input box is present. That means clicking on this input box is nothing but indirectly clicking on the LI, LI element only. Why? Because input box is present in the LI element. So that means indirectly we are pressing, in, we, are, we are clicking on the LI element. So how we can stop this one? So we can use 
at the rate click dot stop okay so if you want to place any method you can write the method or otherwise you can leave it like this so click dot stop we have already discussed these things in the event modifiers the click dot stop will stop emitting the uh, will start emitting emitting the bubbling okay emitting the click event you emitting the event to go to the parent so this is called as bubbling effect actually so now when you click on this input box it will what it will try to send is it will try to go to the parent element it will try to uh, uh, it will try to execute the click event so here if you are clicking means indirectly it is it will go to the li li it will go to the top 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 like this it will go so now here we are trying to stop so don't emit to the parent element so stop it there only so we have we are writing like this now if i go and if i try to check the output here okay if i will write write the uh, like this hobbies okay now if i click on this element so it is not getting re removed see now if i click uh, now if i click on the hobby name so if i click on the hobby name text hobby text if i click it is getting removed see so we have achieved this one now i will show you another thing here so reading writing here i have written so now what i will try to do is i will write something here something okay i have written something in this one now i try to remove the reading so if i rem if i if i remove the reading okay the writing should come uh, writing will be placed and the input box should retain the value like the totally something right so now if i click on reading see suddenly what happened something the 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 text what i have written in the input box has been removed so what is happening here so now what i will try to do is i will try to add reading again okay so i have added the reading again and here i will write write what i will try to do, write text or something like this i have written in the input element now what i will try to do is i will try to remove the writing now the reading one the text box what is having in the reading one hobby doesn't have any data okay so that means if i remove this one so the text this reading will come top and the text box doesn't have to present anything now if i click here see the reading the right text has come into the reading so it is becoming vice versa what we have did in the previously the data has gone but here we have not written anything in the reading the hobby but we are getting the data what is happening here so the thing happening here is the vue.js is smart enough that what it will try to do is so now when we are trying to when we are trying to remove the data okay from the li element so when we are trying to remove the li element what it will try to do is so the vue.js will not render the whole li again the vue.js will not render the whole li again it will check that what is the dynamic el dynamic elements present here the only the div element is the dynamic okay the input box is not the dynamic it doesn't have any string interpolation variables or anything it doesn't have anything so that is the reason what it will try to do is so if i if i write text here and if i try to add the this one if i remove this one okay so the dynamic data what is present here writing okay the dynamic data what is present here so it will be replaced here but the input box will not be replaced okay why because it is not a dynamic the input box will be placed like that only so that is the reason that the data is retaining like this one for example see here reading i have and the writing i have okay now if i write something here if i try to remove this one okay if i try to remove the reading if i try to remove the reading then what will happen is if i try to remove the reading what will happen is the writing will go top okay so this one reading the reading text only will be replaced with the writing but the input box will be placed like that only so that's is the reason the input box the 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 input box in the writing is filled so now here if i click here see the input box is not rendered only the writing is rendered so so that means the reading the element is present like that only so that is the reason we are able to retain this one i hope you understood the scenario and now how can we how can we rectify this type of scenario so now vi hyphen fur we have a special key attribute okay special attribute we are vi hyphen fur has a special attribute that is the key attribute why because we need to maintain a key for each li element so for each rendering rendering elements we need to maintain the key so that what will what will happen is so the the vue.js will have a uh, will have a, uh, what where i can say so vue.js will will able to recognize this one so which is the which is the element which is the element and it will be able to maintain the state of that element so now here we can maintain the key okay so key will be it should be unique value okay so no two value should be the same so it will be the unique value here 
our hobby is the string only right so it is also unique unique value so that is the reason i am keeping hobby normally what is the best approach to keep the key is so if you are getting the data from the database or anywhere you are getting this so the id is the best id is the best best variable to keep in the key uh, to keep it in the key why because the id is the primary key in the database so it will be uh, it will be 100 percent unique so that is the reason i so is the reason most of the time key value should be id only okay now if i try to re, uh, place the key here now what will happen let's see the output now here i will be adding the reading okay i will be adding the writing now if i place something if i write something here reading in the text box and now if i try to remove this one so the input box the content also what it is present is will be entirely removed so if i click here see the writing is maintaining the state now if i try to write something like reading the down if i try to write reading mode or something now if i try to remove the writing here now the reading text box what it is having the reading text box it will maintain the state okay it will maintain the state in the reading text box so if i try to remove this one see it is maintaining the state so this is how key will be useful in the vifn for directive in the vue.js so this is also it's better to for every vifn for where direct or directive you are using you need to maintain the key attribute so the then you will overcome this type of strange bugs okay strange bugs this is a strange bug rare bug you will be having so you will be able you will be not able to re recognize that why this one is coming like this okay so that is the reason i explained you this key thing key is also a very important thing uh, most probably what we will we'll be using is same thing like in react js we'll be using when we are looping over this one we'll be using this key there in the looping over in the jsx uh, template so we'll be using the key variable same the same scenario vue.js also we need to use the key whenever we are looping over in the vifn for directive okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you